Rike project management tutorial. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with project management on Rike. Rike is a online platform that allows you to integrate multiple different projects together. It also lets you integrate all of your favorite tools. So if you're using Google Docs, calendars, or any other third-party application, Rike can help you integrate that directly into your project manager. They have multiple different features such as views, automations, they also have a mobile app, and you can even view your projects in a timeline view just to get a better idea of your project's timeline. So let's get into Rike. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to sign up. So to do that, simply click on get started on the top right and you can just enter the name of your company, click on get started over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign up with Google to make it easier, but you can just sign up with your email address. That's all you need on Rike. And we are going to continue on over here. And once you do that, you will be led to your basic workspace. So this is our basic workspace on Rike. Now, keep in mind, you can build multiple different spaces for multiple different businesses or projects. Then first off, you have a personal space and then you have multiple different projects you can build on top of that. So your personal space is only going to hold things or items related or regarding to you. And then on the top, you have your home button that will lead you back to your home dashboard where you can find spaces, recent items, pinned items. And on the right, you have a toolbar which can help you in getting easy access to your creative Created tasks, starred, to do lists, and more. Then, if you click on the top left, you will be able to see some basic options such as all the names of your projects, then some invitation options as well. Then on the top right, you have a integration toolbar and you also have a addition or creation bar which can help you in building tasks, projects, folders, and spaces. Then if you click on your top right, you have your basic account settings where you can get started with the new features on Rike, including Lightspeed. So Lightspeed is a new tool that helps you in building a simpler navigation, a cleaner workflow, and a new board and table view. So this is what our basic inbox is going to look like on right. So this is like a pretty simple section. You have your basic messaging, then you have your sent messaging, and then your archive. Then if we go back into our space overview over here, this is our current space. And let's go back into our dashboard. So let's go into our spaces over here and we have our personal space and we have our project and folders. So I'm going to create a new space over here from the left panel. And you guys can see you have multiple different panels that can help you in building your spaces. So there are templates that can help you in getting an easy start. You have IT and engineering based templates, marketing agency operations, project management templates. So I want to build a structured projects template and I'm going to click on select over here and this will import the pre-existing template onto our workspace. Now this is our space. So we have our structured space project over here. And as you guys can see, this has multiple different views added on the top. You have a table, a board view, a old board view, and a all section. Now, sometimes using a template can seem pretty overwhelming for certain people because they have, you know, a lot of different things added. However, it's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. Now, on the top, you have project one, and then you have all the information regarding that project. Now, this is listed in a um, anti-chronological order, so it's the most recent thing on the top and then the later thing or you know the previous things at the bottom a lot of people don't prefer this kind of view so let's build our own project on Rike. so what we're gonna do is we are gonna go back into our dashboard and we're gonna turn off light speed for this because it's a lot easier for beginners to work with a full menu now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into our home page and I'm going to build a new space. Now, this new space is going to be simple. So I'm going to click on create blank on the bottom left. Then you're going to enter a space name on the top left. So let's say this is going to be dirt in. Then you have a description. So project management. And then you have your type. So whether or not you want this to be a private workspace so only members can view it. Or if anyone in your pre-existing workspaces can join this space as well. I want this to be private and I can add members from here. So I can enter them by name or email address. Then you have your icon options. So I'm going to change the icon to this icon. And then I'm going to click on create. 
Once you click on create, you will be able to see this is going to be a empty preview. So in your empty preview, you're going to have a list view. And then on the top left, you have a project and folder section. So what we're going to do is that this is our basic workspace of Dirt N. So I want to start building a project, individual project in this. I'm going to click on create project or folder. Now you can use folders to categorize your work and build multiple different types of projects within a folder. Then you have your project. So you can choose list views, Gantt charts, board views, table views as well. Now this is the start date of our project. And let's say the end date of our project is on the 31st. Then you can choose whether or not you want to share this with your team, share it with specific users and groups, or keep this board private. So I want to share this with my team. And let's say this is going to be our mug or coffee launch. And then we're going to click on create. Now, once we have created a section within our particular workspace, we can start building the individual tasks and items that we need to accomplish. So the first thing you need to note is that this is your list view. And if you don't like it, you can click on the plus icon over here and integrate a board view. You even have chart views and calendar views, so you can create your own views if you want. Now, what we're going to do, I'm going to be using the board view so it's easier for you guys to see. But you have your task sections. You have your new tasks in progress, completed and on hold. Now, these are categorized by priority. You can categorize them by due date, importance, title or more. Then you have the cover images, duration, status and item types. What kind of information should be displayed for a particular task in your board view now i'm going to click on list over here and we're going to get started with building our task now the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add ideas now this is going to be a task this is just to help me in categorizing all the items so what i like to do is i like to name one item and then after that i'm going to start building the tasks that actually fall under ideas so it might be add idea or Facebook marketing like this you can add you know multiple different tasks and I'm going to move you know the item of ideas on the top so it's easier for me to be able to see if I go onto my board view now so you guys will see ideas Facebook marketing add idea now some people don't like this kind of categorization so if you prefer just your task to be added directly you can remove this particular section now this is just the title of your task obviously you're going to add details so to be able to add details you're going to click on the particular task now once you click on your particular task you will be able to see a lot of options regarding that task so you have your status option then you have the assignee option let's say i add an assignee then you have a set date so when this task is supposed to start let's say we're supposed to start on the 6th and then the due date for the task might be on the 13th so after that maybe you know i have to provide reporting on that particular task then after that you have sub items so i have a sub item to create um coffee facebook page then maybe i have to run ads build a contest you know have a contest winner contest winner and obviously these are just very general tasks i'm adding you're going to add them in more detail now once you do that you have this particular task assigned to one person you can assign them to multiple different people at one time as well and below that you have a comment section where you can add some comments you can also attach files as well as add some descriptions emoticons and tag other people then on the top right, you have your basic options where you can choose to add assignees and even follow a task or even favorite a task. Then you have the permalink of the task. And then on the top right, you just have the task options where you can even make a task recurrent. Then after that, you can even convert it into a milestone. So if your business is supposed to maybe launch into, an, into a new city, that is a milestone for your business. And you can convert that in a milestone on Reich. Once you do that, you can go into the board view and as the task moves along, so you can move it into the next section. If it's now in progress, it has been now been completed. If it's on hold, canceled or anything else. So in this way, you can get started with some basic project management on Rike. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now, one thing to discuss before we go away is the pricing of Rike because Rike is available for free and they have AI content generation, board views, table views, and all the basic things you would need for project management for free. However, if you're looking for more premium features such as interactive charts and um, multiple different 
automations, dashboards, and more types of views, then you can upgrade to the team version starting at $9.80 per user. Now, if you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a comment. If I left something out or if there's something else you'd like to see, leave that in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say and I will catch you guys in the next video.